to uh, talk to you about some pretty grim numbers uh, that we have uh, in our state. Uh, so over the last five years in South Australia, we've lost 468, sorry, 466 people uh, on our roads uh, in South Australia across that period from 2018 to 2021. In addition to that, there's been 3,806 people who've suffered serious injuries on South Australian roads which have required hospitalisation and in many cases a result in lifelong injuries requiring care and support from loved ones and uh, family members. In addition to that, 67% of the lives lost have occurred on regional roads. And year to date, um, we are actually, um, not that any family member who's lost a loved one would say this, but um, year to date we are in a better position than we have been in previous years with 15 lives lost in comparison to 21 lives at the same time last year. Alarmingly, 80% of the lives lost so far this year have occurred on regional roads. So as we come into this long weekend, this weekend, uh, we are um, reminding people, uh, pleading with people to take care on our roads, uh, particularly those who are going to be travelling in the regions. Now that's whether you live in the regions and you're going to be travelling, or whether that is in fact you are coming from Metropolitan Adelaide out to the regions to enjoy a long weekend holiday. Um, it's no surprise that the causes of some of these crashes uh, equally in the regional areas are things like speeding uh, and dangerous driving, which to me says that uh, people have probably not planned their trip as well as they should have uh, because they're taking unnecessary risks that you otherwise wouldn't take if you had actually planned your trip and you feel some sense of urgency or pressure or stress to get to your location perhaps uh, by a certain time. So one of the key messages we're saying this year is plan your trip, uh, make sure that you don't put yourself in harm's way or your family in harm's way uh, by taking unnecessary risks because you failed to plan uh, before you leave to enjoy your holiday this weekend. The goal obviously is for everybody to get home safely this weekend after having enjoyed a very uh, enjoyable long weekend, particularly with the easing of restrictions which come into play uh, as of tonight. And that's probably the other major point I'd like to drive home uh, uh, with this particular message in this particular uh, conference today is that um, with the easing of restrictions, it's been two years since we uh, have been out to um, been able to enjoy uh, some of the things that this weekend will bring with it. Coupled with the hot weather, uh, coupled with also the activities of the fringe and uh, the uh, the other entertainment that's available in the metropolitan district. We're actually really conscious that people who are going out in the metropolitan area this week can also take care. Last year in 2021, we lost 14 people on our roads who were pedestrians uh, who were struck whilst crossing the road or whilst um, on a road-related area. So it's very important that um, when you go out, if you're going out in the metropolitan area this weekend, that you actually plan your night out as well. Uh, we anticipate that there'll be probably more people um, getting out and about this evening, which potentially means less availability of maybe ride shares or taxis or things like that. So please make sure you plan your night uh, over the weekend so that you can actually arrange to get home safely. Um, but if you are out and about, you are enjoying yourself, uh, enjoy alcohol responsibly, and be very careful when you are in and around the city. If you are walking around the city or if you're driving around the city in particular, um, please be careful when you are actually in those spaces. Uh, over the last uh, four years, we've actually lost five people on our roads over the March long weekend. So we actually want to try and avoid that obviously again uh, for this weekend. We want to be fatality free uh, over this March long weekend. And probably the higher risk locations uh, comes back to our regional areas. The Adelaide Hills and the Fleurieu area has had a significant number of lives lost uh, over the last five years, 466 uh, lives lost. Um, so there's a significant number um, of, sorry, 66 lives lost uh, in the Adelaide Hills and Fleurieu and 466 serious injuries. So they're again staggering numbers. And if the causes uh, for people uh, in that region who've lost their lives is predominantly around drink driving, speeding and inattention. So we'll be out in force right across the state this weekend, targeting drink and drug drivers, uh, targeting speeding and also looking after uh, people who are travelling on our regional roads.
So I'll come back again. The main message is here, for people who are going to the regions, please plan your drive, drive safely. For those already in the regions and elsewhere, um, don't bother drinking and driving because you'll get caught by us this weekend. We'll be out in force and that'll be the, uh, the best outcome from you because uh, you'll either end up uh, in the morgue or you'll end up potentially in jail if you are responsible for a serious injury or a death on our roads. And for the people in the metropolitan area who are going out to party this weekend, look, have a, have a great time, but do it responsibly. Make sure you also plan how you're going to get home this weekend. You mentioned that 67% of the deaths we've had are in regional areas. Why do you think that regional areas are so dangerous? Uh, look, there's a number of region, a number of reasons why regional areas are so dangerous. Probably one of the main reasons is, is that we are travelling at higher speed limits, obviously, um, in the region, so 100 or 110 k roads. And what that means is that if you are involved in a crash at that speed, um, there is less margin for error and much more serious consequences. Um, any crash that involves a higher speed, um, and that's regardless of whether you're sticking at the speed limit uh, or whether you're exceeding the speed limit, um, but your chances of surviving a crash at those speeds is obviously much less than a lower speed crash. So that's part of the reason for the regional roads. I think the other other reason is, is that um, inattention and also fatigue play a big factor. So this comes back to my point about planning your drive this weekend. Don't allow yourself to get tired. Plan rest breaks. Have a look at the um, Department for Infrastructure and Transport website around um, roadworks because there are roadworks out in a number of areas. So if you plan to get to a certain location by a certain time and get held up by roadworks, some people will start to get a little bit stressed and a little bit worried and then start to take unnecessary risks and that's one of the things that's just so easily avoidable. Does this mean you're going to have more officers out in regional areas and can people expect that there will be a high voice present? Um, so we're going to be uh, focusing on our highways in particular, um, so the usual suspects in terms of going down to so the uh, Flurio down at Victor Harbour and down that way whether it's up to the mid-north or the far north, which are now great locations to go, or even whether it's into the Clare Valley and places like that as well. You know, we'll be out in force on our regional roads this weekend. Um, absolutely will. Uh, drink and drug driver testing will be conducted right throughout the weekend as well. Um, but you'll, you'll see, you'll be guaranteed to see a police vehicle wherever you're travelling around the regional roads in the state this weekend. So um, there's no, no excuses and there's no second chances. Would you expect there's probably most traffic we've seen in those areas or on our roads since pre-COVID, now that we've got no restrictions? Yeah, uh, look, I think um, uh, I've noticed myself that there seems to be a lot more traffic on the roads at the moment. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're all experiencing that, particularly around peak hour traffic um, when we're coming to and from work. Um, also in the city, I think with the celebrations and the festival that's going on at the moment, uh, there's certainly increased foot traffic as well as, as vehicle traffic as well. And as we know, um, from basically now onwards uh, through today, there'll be increased traffic on our regional roads as people prepare to go away and start travelling uh, to the regions to enjoy the long weekend. I mean, clearly at the back end of this long weekend, uh, so from sort of late Monday morning through until Monday evening, we can expect to see higher volumes of traffic on the roads, which is why it's so important to plan ahead. And five people killed over the last four years on this much long weekend. How important is it that it's fatality free? When was the last time you saw that? Uh, yeah, unfortunately it's been a little while since we've had a fatality free weekend, but clearly, um, I mean, we want a fatality free weekend because I mean, we know what the impact is on families um, uh, as a result of losing a loved one on our roads. Uh, it is a lifelong thing and you know, I think I've spoken about this before. Every time you come around to a March long weekend, the family and loved ones who lost somebody in previous years on a March long weekend, it's an anniversary, and an awful anniversary and a reminder of you know, what's happened to them and their family. And what we're trying to do is to have everybody do the right thing and make sure that they and their families and everybody else on the roads are safe this long weekend, but also all the time when you're driving on the roads. These accidents are preventable, right? It's down to the individuals behind the wheel in the car or you know, who, are, who are riding the motorbike or who are walking around our streets to take responsibility and think road safety all the time because these um, crashes and these lives lost on our roads are preventable. We've also got the Adelaide Cup on Monday. Will you guys be focusing around there doing drink and um, drug testing? Yeah, we're really aware, obviously, of the Adelaide Cup as well. And again, another great event in South Australia that people love to get along to. Um, along with the, the vehicles there, there's uh, obviously a high um, pedestrian volume around, in and around uh, the races as well there. So 
but we'll be focusing on, on the safety of everyone involved in that. Um, there will be drink and drug driver testing happening everywhere in the state, so regardless of where you are, you, you take the chance of getting caught. And, and I remind people that it's not just about the, the static RBTs that people might message each other about to you know, warn people about and, and you know, try and avoid. Every single police car um, can pull you over for a random breath test anytime, anywhere in the state. So regardless of whether you're going to think you're going to sneak around a, a static or a block RBT that's been set up, uh, police will be out in force this weekend. So if you drink or drive, you will get caught. And, and like I said, that's, that's the best result for you probably because you'll lose your car for, uh, for 28 days. You'll lose your licence for a little while but you won't have lost your life and you won't potentially be facing the court and end up in prison because you've killed someone on our roads. So it's the, it's the best result that you're going to get, which is still pretty harsh, I think. It's no secret that RBTs were stopped for a while or reduced due to COVID. All of those crews are now back on the road, is that correct? Is it That's right. No holds barred in relation to drink or drug driving this weekend and ongoing. Uh, we're back in full swing with our testing, uh, but right across our our static sites where we're pulling in blocks of cars at, uh, at any time, but also with, uh, as I said, every police car can pull you over any time, anywhere in the state and, and conduct a random breath test. Okay. Thank, you. Thanks, yep. Thank you. Um, just before you go, Paul, is there somewhere where 